I'm going to show you real quick how to make a, um, a histogram and a frequency table from a data set here, but how you can do that using um, your own binning requirements, I guess. So if you have to have a certain class width and a certain starting point, we can, we can do that here. Now, if I just have this make a frequency table for me, it is going to determine the bin starting point and the class width all on its own. But if I want to make that determination, I can come here to the data tab, go down to the bin option, and then it's going to prompt me to select a column that I want to bin. So I'm going to bin variable one because that's where my data is. And then I need to select this use fixed width bins. And here is where I can determine what I want to start at. So let's say for this data set, um, my lowest number here is 18. So let's say I want to start it at 15. I can type in 15 there and then my bin width I can also determine. So I, maybe I want to go by fives for my bin width. Okay. Once I press compute, it has now generated a new column that has the binned values in it. So what it's done is it has taken this 18 and it has assigned it to the correct class. Okay, so the 18 falls in the 15 to 20 class. 22 goes in the 20 to 25 class and so on and so forth. Now from there, if I want to make a frequency table, I can come here to the stat tab, go down here to tables and frequency. And now instead of selecting my original data set, I can select the bin data set. And then if I want to make a frequency table here, I'm going to unselect relative frequency. And then when I press compute, you'll notice it has now made the frequency table based off of my binning uh, requirements that I originally set up. And it tells me how many would fall into each bin. Okay, so that's one way that you can do a frequency table and specify your specific binning requirements if you need them. Now for a histogram, I would go to the graph menu. And when I come in here to graph, I'm going to select the variable one. And notice within this, it gives me the option to do my binning. So let's say I want it to match that frequency table. So I want to start at 15 and have a width of five. And again, you would set up all your access labels and stuff, press compute, and then now notice it still has that same, same binning as I had in my frequency table. 